Hey, what's going on guys? Motinosity here along with Fry Riding. Hello. Way back there. I don't know if... Here's the contact info Siri. for Fry Riding. What? No, I don't need the contact information for Fry Riding. He's right here, Siri. He's right here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're gonna be working on the 2020 R1. Got more mods to do, I know. Can't believe it. Thought we were already done with this bike, but we are not. I already have plans for the next video. But today we're gonna be installing a new chain and sprocket kit. So if you're not familiar with doing chain and sprocket kits or gearing changes on cars, you can change it for several different ways, whether you wanna get more top speed out of your bike or car, or you wanna get more acceleration. The change that we're gonna be making is for a little bit more acceleration on this bike. It's a leader bike. It's a new leader bike. It already has a really nice top speed. Top speed I haven't even hit yet. But the R1 feels a little bit slower in comparison to the S1000. So, kind of what? Like how, how a rocket is slower today than it, or slower from the 60s than it is today. It's still a rocket. <laughs> but you guys know if you watch my videos on the R1, I always mention the fact that the S1000 is faster. So I wanted a little bit more acceleration out of the uh, 2020 R1. I used to have a 2009 R1 and the change that I did on that bike was one down in the front. And when you go down in the front or up on the rear sprocket, you're gonna get more, more acceleration, but you're gonna lose a little bit top speed. And on this bike, I'm gonna be going up to in the rear because I don't need quite the drastic acceleration change as I had on the 2009 R1. And I still wanna maintain some of that crazy top speed. So. That's what we're gonna be doing. Quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, World of Tanks. It's free to play with over 100 million players worldwide. It's got over 550 tanks, destroyers, artillery, light and heavy. There's always a new way to play. Whether you wanna roll over open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests or urban industrial zones, there's something for everyone. And when you're ready for battle, rally your teammates, devise a battle plan and destroy the competition in over 40 battle arenas. And they've taken historical accuracy to heart with authentic models and vehicle characteristics so you feel like a real tank commander. And don't settle for the basics. You can earn experience to modify and upgrade your tank to make that steel beast ready for any challenge. And what kind of game would it be without loads of Christmas content for this holiday season? A special game mode, events, Chuck Norris adventures, they're all waiting for you in the game. So go download World of Tanks with my custom link down in the description. And of course I've got a promo for you guys. Just use the code TANKTASTIC to get a free premium account for seven days, 500 gold, and a premium tank T127. It's a Soviet tier three tank for you guys. So thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the install. Motivation, as always, provided the parts for the uh, install today. Right here is the EK3D chain. By far my absolute favorite chain that you can do on your motorcycle. Super strong, this is the 520 pitch. So we're gonna be saving some weight from stock, but it's still one of the strongest chains out there. So you're not gonna have to worry too much about uh, stretch on the chain even on a leader bike. Then on the uh, ch the uh, sprocket front, we've got the Stealth Super Sprocks. And believe it or not, this is a custom sprocket. I don't believe that you can get this one in black, but I got the hookup. They made it for me in black. It was basically like the Batman scene. I went, I went to them and I was like, does it come in black? And they said, no, but we can make it for you. So yeah, we're gonna be changing even more on this bike to be black. It look like a kit for Night Rider. I know. Dude, what if I had Night Rider lights on the front? Please do. Yes. Wait, I will, because I know we're doing a chain and sprocket. If, if you just wanna see the install, I'll put the timestamp to when we start the install. Um, but in a future video, I've said it before, uh, I'm gonna do the same light mod that I did on my 2017 R6 replacing the DRLs on both sides with RGB LEDs so that we can do color changing, uh, so we can change to like music and stuff like that. We can change the startup sequence and it does have a Knight Rider style startup sequence that you can set it to. So thanks to Motivation. If you wanna get these parts, I'll link them down in the description. If you wanna check out Motivation, I'll put a link to the website so you guys can get parts for your motorcycle, whatever it is. They've got tons of really good parts. Will we do it the professional way or will we just grind off the chain? <laughs> Look at this, pit posse tools. And this is uh, what we'll need to press on the new chain link so we don't have to use one of those little pin things that'll basically just fall off if you, if you breathe on it too hard. You know what else we can install? I've got new uh, chain adjusters. Here we go. I had these on my R1. 
I did the Gillis ones on the S1000. Litec didn't have the right size, I think, for the S1000 at the time. But here are the Litec chain adjusters for the R1. Make it super, super easy. I recommend anyone who is gonna own their uh, bike for an extended period of time, get these chain adjusters, either these ones or the ones from Gillis. It just makes it so much faster. So also for motivation. Mm -hmm. Just always make sure you grab the correct pin, otherwise it gets stuck in there. Because you would have thought this may have been the correct pin when you looked at it from the front like that. Like you'd be like, oh yeah, that's the right size, but no. No, it's not. I, I learned these lessons so you don't have to. So I hope if you're doing this install, you watch the whole video before starting. We forgot to loosen the front sprocket before lifting up the bike, taking off the wheel, taking off the chain. So now if we, you know, try to loosen this, it's just gonna, just gonna spin. What we're gonna do is put the original chain back around the front sprocket and just hold it with our hands, then use the impact to try to loosen that nut. I think it should work. All right, so what we're gonna do is just move on with the install and come back to this once we have the rear wheel on because once we do, we'll be able to have the advantage of using the rear brake to hold that sprocket in place. We tried putting it in gear and it just didn't help. So yeah, I think that's our best option right now, basically to get us back to square one when we should have loosened that front sprocket. We're gonna put on the new chain adjusters right now. And once we got those on, we can put the rear wheel back on uh, and then we should be able to just wrap the old chain around the sprocket, hold the brake, and we should be able to loosen that front sprocket. Dude, that looks so good. It's way better. It looks so much better. So I didn't mention it before, this, but this sprocket is actually both steel and aluminum. It has an inner section that's aluminum to save weight, but the actual part on the outside where the teeth are, that's all steel. It's kind of the best of both worlds. You have a lighter sprocket, but still strong on the teeth. Now that we have this back on here, uh, we should be able to hold the, the rear brake and uh, loosen up that front sprocket nut. Ready? Uh-huh. Dragging the brakes. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, it was lifting the thing. Yeah. Oh. Dude, the wood's cracking. Yes.
For this particular sprocket, this is a Super Sprocks, there's a side that's flat and a side that has a lip. You want the lip to go towards the motor. That way it lines up correctly with the chain guide. What in the hell? Oh yeah, yeah, there we are. Just sig got significantly easier. Nope. Because it makes it That's what's Black side out. Next to it. Yeah. Look at that professional install. All right, so um, we've got the chain on, we've got the rear wheel all tidied up. The only things that we still have to do on the rear are tighten down this bolt right here that actually holds the chain adjuster to the swing arm. It's just hand tightened right now, but we'll tighten that down more. Lower it back down to the ground, get the chain adjusted one final time. Then we can tighten down both the front axle or the front sprocket nut and the rear axle nut. And then uh, we'll be done. Last thing to do is tighten down this rear axle nut. On this bike, 137 foot pounds, pretty crazy. It's 90. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's a lot of torque. That is more than three Uggadugas. Yeah, I don't think my Uggadugga would do that many Uggaduggas. All right, we're done. We can try. So tomorrow morning, um, I'll take the bike out, see how it feels. I'm hoping that uh, it feels now as fast as the S1000. I'm gonna eat a whole birthday cake by myself. Yeah. I told him he could, he could eat it here, but he said, nope, I'm gonna do it alone. In the nude, in the dark, we're watching YouTube videos. <laughs> it's always fun fishing out birthday cake out of my belly button while I'm watching Motonocity videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hoped it helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be taking out this bike for the first ride with this thing to see how it runs. If you wanna see that video, make sure you have post notifications turned on. It'll go out hopefully uh, two days from now on Friday. If you wanna get any of the products that I installed today for your bike or your R1, all those products will be linked down in the description. It's all from motivation. If you guys need any motorcycle parts, they're your one-stop shop. Other than that, you guys have been awesome. I've been Motonocity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hi, Vloggy. <laughs> did the Vloggy say hi? What are you eating? What did you eat? Bread. Bread and? Candy. <laughs> and? Candy. And? Candy. And carrots? <laughs> and candy. And pears? None candy. Oh, okay, see, say bye. Bye. Can you cover up? <laughs>